Hi guys, this is Ganesh from Thinkative. I'm CEO and founder of Thinkative Technology Private Limited. So in today's video, we are going to talk about healthcare interoperability. Um, Thinkative is in the business from last four to five years in healthcare. And uh, we are developing a lot of healthcare applications and we are working on healthcare integration and interoperability. So I thought of like giving them more, putting more knowledge on video to understand everybody what is healthcare interoperability. So we are going in the four steps. First step to understand the, what is healthcare interoperability. And second step is that why it is required. And the third thing is we are going to understand the what are the challenges in healthcare, healthcare interoperability. And lastly, as a thinkative, how we are solving those challenges, how we are helping people with the healthcare integration and interoperability. So let's start with the first thing is that the what is healthcare interoperability. So healthcare interoperability is nothing but like the when two or more system trying to exchange the healthcare data okay so let's start with the understanding like there are multiple touch point where healthcare data is get generated the first thing is like in physicians hospital uh, health uh, patient data get generated second thing is like let's suppose that the in laboratory patient goes there also patient data get generated like if you have uh, devices home health devices fitness devices there are a lot of vital data like your blood pressure your sugar all of those data is generated and this data is creep growing and as a physician physician needs the data that data has to be in one place uh, so that he will be able to get the holistic patient record view and he'll be able to provide the better care so that's the need of healthcare interoperability so now in the first two section we talk about what is healthcare interoperability and why healthcare interoperability is required so now let's talk about challenges in healthcare interoperability so there are multiple challenges involved in healthcare interoperability as i said like there are multiple touch points where data is get generated the problem with all of this data is that each of this data is in different format like somebody have a data in hl7 v2 format or the ehr or emr some ehr or emr is generating data in fire format and other uh, labs are generating data in other some other their proprietary apis so the integrating this api is very difficult and putting data in one format with the different uh, it's, it's also required the holistic approach where we can integrate all those system and bring this data and it becoming very challenging so this is the first problem we have and the second problem is that the is like the still today how do we identify the patient uh, the patient identification also one of the major problem as of now the patient is identified with the patient name their date of birth and their social security number and how do you how do you pull the data from one of emr with this three parameter there has to be one unique id per each patient so that we'll be able to accurately uh, extract the patient data from the system so these are the multiple problem involved in the healthcare interoperability and there are other problems is that the not all the vendors industry wide applying the one format um, like like the um, some of system are still using paper format and bringing them on the it is also one of the challenge and apart from that the industry wide sharing data is also becoming difficult see these are the major challenge which restrict to get the data on one particular place so that the provider will be able to get the holistic record and provide a better care and it's very important to solve all this problem in order to get the real connected health records where the patient will be benefited by it and the provider also get benefit with it let's discuss about the last section where how as a thank you to we help solve the healthcare interoperability problem so what we do is that the lot of lot of hospitals are nowadays are using ehr as their system backbone of their hospital where they keep all their digital records like um, 
and there are multiple EHRs in the market. The major one is Ape, Cerner, Allscript, Nextgen. So what we have done is that the first thing while solving this healthcare interoperable problem, we started integrating with this EHR. So let's understand the problem. For example, Epic. Epic generate data in fire format and let's talk about Athena. Athena have their own proprietary API which provide the JSON format data. So all of these EHRs are generating data in different format. So what we have done is that we have developed the middle layer which will consume the APIs or the fire APIs or HL7. Let's suppose eClinical work provide data in uh, HL7. Now we we pull all this data, we put the bridge on top of that and which will get the data, it will standardize and clean the data and give the output of that data in one single format which will be the clean patient record. So basically like let's suppose that you are pulling from our bridge that is we are calling it as EHR bridge which connect to all of EHRs and provide a one single API to pull data from it. Let's talk about like the you want the patient data. If you try to pull that same patient record from Epic, you will get different record. And if you try to pull the record from the Athena, you will get a different record. But if you use our bridge to pull the patient record, you will get the one single format and that will be standard across the board. So that's what the, we have done to solve the EHR based healthcare interoperability problem. The next and this bridge we can customize as per requirement of our client to provide their own custom format and as of now we are providing one single format of it. Next thing that we solve is like the data is generated from the different devices. Uh, there are like the eye health based devices or Dexcom devices or any other fitness devices. So we also created device bridge which is connected with all of those devices and pull data and we again clean and standardize this data using our device bridge and provide you the one single formatted data irrespective of any device that data is coming. So that is about the second thing where we coming picture where we provide standardized device integration bridge which will provide you standard and the clean data from any of device that patient is using. The last and which is third is like integrating with laboratories and radiology. So a lot of laboratories and the radiologists are using HL7 format. So we also developed the laboratory and radiology bridge which will integrate bi-directional integration with these labs where we can pull the HL7 data and also push the HL7 data and where we provide you the single API point and with the one formatted data where you can pull the patient rec uh, laboratory record, you can order the laboratory, all those things you can do one single formatted API that is provided by our lab integration bridge. So with these three important bridges help you to provide the clean and standardized data in one format and that is what our aim is to provide the connectivity in healthcare that will benefit the patient and the provider. Thank you for watching this video. Guys, I am going to create a lot of other videos on healthcare topic and provide the more information about healthcare integration, interoperability. I am going to cover other topic related healthcare technologies. So if you like this video, stay connected. I am going to meet you in next video. Thinkative. Thinking every bit.